Good afternoon, my name is Jeremiah with Affordable Mobility Solutions. Today I'm shooting a video of our 2010 Chrysler Town & Country. You can see here with the uh, key fob I can open up both the power sliding ramp and door and also the trunk hatch there as the ramp comes down. Because what this allows you to do you know, if you're coming up from Walmart, you can actually uh, open up the vehicle, roll right on in with your chair. It's got the super awesome swivel seat so you can park your chair back here if you want. Transfer over to the swivel seat. Got a six-way swivel seat, so we can go left to right, which we're going to obviously going to go back to the left now, and then we will go. It's got up and down, and we'll go forward and back. We're going to go forward. We're going to bring ourselves up to the door here, up to the. I'm sorry, the steering wheel. We've even got hand controls here if you need them. Down the gas, forward to brake. Pretty simple to do, and it makes you completely independent. So you're not waiting on rides uh, from anybody else. You're not uh, inconveniencing any friends or family member. You go when you want to go, and when it's time to leave, you leave when you want to leave. Complete independence. Uh, nice clean van, it's got the leather leather seating here. Got your plug in for your uh, electronics there, so you can plug in like, you know, something if you have medical equipment or even your power chair. Has a removable front seat as well, so you could actually put, you know, a, a friend or partner's chair up here. Put your chair back here, you could both go at the same time. Allows a lot of flexibility. Got your rear air controls, got your dual climate control, your rear air, got your cup holders there for your coffee. You got all your, uh, the dash is in great shape. You can also shut all the doors up here, okay? I'm gonna hop back out of the van, reverse the process, hit the button twice there, hit the button on the trunk latch twice as well. By the way, that ramp's 29 inches wide, 800 pound weight capacity, 50. Two and a half inches coming in the door, and then 56 and a half inches once you're inside the door. It's got the alloy wheels, it's got tires on it that are like darn near brand new tires on it, excellent condition. That's tinted windows, it's got your roof rack in case you want to do any traveling. As we do a walk around the van, it's very clean. It does have a little scrape down, you can hardly, it's underneath the van, the little bottom of the scrape right there. These side entry vans, they do, uh, they do scrape a little lower than the rear entries. They have a more of a tendency to scrape the ground a little bit, something you have to be aware of when you're driving. But overall, very nice, very clean van. We put new headlights in it. It's got those dark headlights in it. it makes it look, got a nice tough look to it. Like I said, tires are in great shape. Tires won't be an issue for quite a while. Overall, very clean van. And no matter who you buy from, make sure you get a uh, video of the VIN number. Not just a picture of it. And why I say that, what people do is they get online, they try to sell a, an imaginary vehicle. They show you a VIN number. I send up, put up some pictures. Their goal is to get you to send them a deposit to hold it. Then once you send the deposit, they disappear off the face of the earth. So, this VIN number is hard to duplicate. Get you a video of it, not just a VIN. That right there proves this vehicle is here in my possession. This is not some internet scam. What we do with that VIN number, run a Carfax report on every one of our vehicles. You can see here just two owners. Got nine service records. Does show an accident report. It's actually a handful of accidents. And what it is, the person that used to own this, they like to back into things. So... It was never, as Carfax shows, no salvage, junk, rebuilt, fire, flood, hail, or lemon brands on the title. And they showed no total loss. So this is not one of the super risky salvage or rebuilt titles. It's two owners, clean title. Carfax shows there's never been structural damage and airbags have never been deployed. So again, these were low speed little fender benders. Uh, I think the person who used to own it was not a very good driver. They had a handful of, you can check the Carfax, but rear end accidents where they would back into something. So unfortunately, but, but I'm not, that happened, but I'm not afraid to buy a vehicle that's had a bumper painted. Even if the bumper's been painted five times, it doesn't bother me. Um, odometer's accurate, airbags have never gone off. It does have an open recall, which you can get fixed at a Dodge Chrysler dealer at no charge uh, to you. And then no matter who you do business with, find them online, look at the reviews and ratings. Find us on eBay, 1,439 transactions. Every single one of those transactions left us positive feedback. That's pretty impressive, if I do say so myself. And no matter who you do business with, look them up on Google. Make sure they are a real company. Find us on Google. We're here in Wichita, Kansas. 4.8 out of 5 star reviews. You know, I hear people, they oftentimes tell me how they bought a vehicle off uh, Craigslist or Facebook, a deal that was just too good to be true. They end up getting scammed out of their life savings. You know, they give the wrong bank account information to the wrong person. Uh, they end up buying a um, complete lemon. They buy a vehicle they can't even get a title for. These people are scammers. They do this all day, every day. If you're going to buy from a private individual, you better know what you're doing. Or they end up buying from one of these dealers with poor ratings and they didn't bother checking the dealer's ratings. 
It's got one and two and three star reviews. They end up with a flood damage, salvage title, mechanical issues, you name it. I've heard it all. And I look, look up these dealers online. Like I said, one and two and three star ratings. So if you want those kind of vehicles, go ahead and shop with those dealers. If you want five star vans with five star service from a company that's been doing this for a dozen years, I look forward to your phone call. Okay, back to the van. We do have the one key fob. If you want us to get an additional key fobs made on your dime, we can sure do so. By the way, full disclosure, this door is a manual door. It was once power. We've had it diagnosed. They believe it's the door motor. Uh, those are usually, with parts and labor, usually about five, $600. So if that's something you're interested in us fixing, we can on your dime, but I'm shooting you straight on it, okay? Don't punish me for being honest. Um, inside the van, I am a non-smoker. I can smell smoke from a mile away. Uh, only I did see what might have been a little burn hole here, but I tell you what, I cannot smell any smoke. Um, you know, that might have been back in 2012, who knows? But the van smells very good, and like I said, I don't smoke at all, I can smell it. No signs of any smoke in this van. And uh, as I get in the van, it's even got the foot control. That's pretty rare on these things, but the foot controls would adjust back and forth. That's pretty cool. And you can see 61,866 miles documented by Carfax as actual miles. When I turn the van on, all the dummy lights work and they all go out. There's no check engine lights on, no airbag, no ABS, and none of that. And uh, got a dual climate control like I mentioned. It's got the on and off button here. That's the kneel. You saw when the van was, when I turned the van, opened the ramp, it squatted to the side. It lowered that side. Um, you can turn that off too, just one less thing to break your call. And uh, I've got three mechanics that work for me. We tested all the power mirrors and windows, and I'm actually going to show you those moving right now. See them going up and down. Test the power mirrors, windows, uh, heat, air, crews, belts, hoses, suspension, steering. Get that one moved. There it is. Um, give them a road test. We checked all the tires. Is that window. Belts, hoses, replace fluids as necessary. And my point is, I hope you can tell. Underneath the hood has a 3.8 V6 engine. Idles smoothly. No signs of any damage. No signs of any leaks. And it purrs like a kitten. As I crawl underneath the van, much of the same, very clean, no signs of any bent metal from an accident, no signs of any oil or any fluid leaks, no signs of any rust, you know, from being up north or being in a flood. That's the number one mistake people make when they buy used vehicles, they assume things. They assume just because it looks nice in pictures, just because it's only got 60,000 miles on it, they assume it runs and drives good. They assume it's never been in a bad accident or a flood. Um, so that's the most dangerous thing you can do when buying a used vehicle. Do not assume things. So what I want you to do, I want you to go to my competition's website. That's right, I am sending you to the competition. I want you to ask yourself, do they show me the reputation online so I know I'm buying from a reputable dealer? Do they show me a Carfax report so I know the vehicle I'm looking at has never been in a bad accident, it's got a clean title, never been in a flood, so on and so forth. Do they get down on their hands and knees and even bother taking pictures much less a detailed video, both front and back, of the vehicle so I know exactly what I'm getting. So when it comes to not only price, when it comes to reputation, and when it comes to how thorough they are to showing you the vehicle that's gonna show up at your doorstep, please, please, please compare me to the competition. You know what ends up happening if you uh, buy a vehicle that's got frame damage, whether it's from an accident or a flood? It may not pass inspection in your state. If it won't pass inspection in your state, you just bought a van you can't even drive. So to avoid that, do four things. Demand a detailed video like this, not some lazy 30 second walk around. If someone's gonna ask you to spend 30 or $40,000 buying a vehicle sight unseen, tell them to get off their behinds, get out there and put their heart and soul into it like I do every one of these videos. Second, demand a Carfax report, not some cheap imitation. I spend thousands of dollars a month on Carfax reports. I do that because I wanna know what I'm buying and more importantly, I want you to know what you're getting. A third, get online, find out who you're buying from, check out their reputation and reviews. We've already gone over this. You have the responsibility as a buyer. Do your due diligence. Lazy buyers get scammed. You're not a lazy buyer and you're not gonna get scammed, all right? And finally, demand a warranty. We do not risk, do not risk buying as is. Demand a warranty. This van comes with a 90 day, 3,000 mile drivetrain plus warranty. Go to any shop in the country, Again, do not risk buying is demand that warranty. We stand behind our products and make sure each one of them comes with a warranty. So let's get it out for a test drive so you can hear it run. Okay, the final portion of the video. I always like to get the vans out on the highway, give them some gas so you can hear the engine run, feel the transmission shift through all the gears. And you know, 
whether you take advantage of our free shipping in the lower 48 states or if you come in and drive this Chrysler home we've done our due diligence made sure it's roadworthy it's a good acceleration I popped it up to uh, 70 miles 68 miles an hour got the cruise control set cruise works good the steering wheel is nice and straight no unusual vibration or noise runs and drives very nice down the highway also keep in mind we do have a 90-day complimentary warranty we do have long-term warranties that cover not only components on the van but also the conversion these conversions can be costly to work on just, just being honest with you it's always a good idea to explore those long-term warranties that will cover the van and the conversion talk to me about how you can affordably do so also keep in mind we don't have any hidden fees a lot of these dealers show a real nice price online what they've hidden in the fine print, $500 administrative fee, they've got document fees, they got tag fees, they got freight, you name it, they got a fee for it. You know what they don't have? Free shipping. So next thing you know, once you've added up all their hidden fees, once you add up the shipping, that real nice price you saw online jumps three or four thousand dollars. Not such a nice price anymore, is it? So be sure to ask about those fees, hidden fees and shipping before you buy, or sit back, relax, let me take care of all that for you at no additional charge to you. And my question to you, if someone's not telling you the real price of a vehicle, if they got a bunch of hidden fees on the back end to try and make more money out of you, what else are they hiding from you? Is it a salvage title? Is it flood damage? Is it mechanical issues? You know, I don't know. I just know in any business, transparency is key, but especially the used car business. I'm gonna give the van a nice hard break. No grinding. No squeaking, no unusual brake noise or vibration. So once again, exactly what we're looking for. And uh, when you're out shopping, like I said, just be aware if people aren't being up front and honest from the get-go, there's a really good chance there's other things they're hiding on the back end. So just be aware of that. If you'd like to give us a phone call, 316-262-VANS. That's 316-262-8267. Now, if texting is easier for you, here's my cell phone, 316 316- 518-4377. My name is Jeremiah. I am the owner. You now have my cell phone number. I challenge you to ask the competition if they are dedicated enough to customer service to give you the owner's cell phone number. Or do you get to call in and talk to an automated system and end up in somebody's voicemail and never get a call back? Or maybe you do get that live person and it's that super aggressive, pushy, used car salesman who's going to call you five times a day to ask if you're ready to make a deal. So if you're like me and you're sick of being treated like just a number uh, by all these companies out there and you definitely want to avoid that super aggressive, uh, pushy, used car salesman, give me a call. I'll walk you through start to finish and I promise you absolutely zero pressure sales here. I'm going to sell this town and country whether you buy it or not. Uh, if, as far as financing for a vehicle this age, unfortunately I do not have any financing for it. Uh, cash of course works personal loan, home equity loan, some people even buy these on their credit card. We're happy to work with you, but we don't have any financing, just full disclosure. Uh, yes, we do take trade-ins, even from across the country, whether standard or mobility vehicles, call me, I can explain how that works. And if you made it to the end of our video, thank you for being patient watching it all. Give us a thumbs up on YouTube. We would really appreciate that. That'll help us out. Give us a follow if you want to be the first to see our entire inventory as we upload our videos. And if you ever do want to come in, please, please, please make an appointment with me. I know your time is valuable. We don't want to miss you. Sometimes I'm out doing things like this. Sometimes I'm at auctions. Sometimes I have an appointment with a customer. So we're happy to spend some time with you, but you have to make an appointment with us, okay? So thank you very much for doing so. And hey, if you'd like to see our entire inventory with detailed videos just like this, free shipping, free Carfax reports, dozens of pictures, and no hidden fees, from the most thorough mobility dealership in the country, check out our website 24 hours a day at www.mobility316.com. That's mobility316.com. And as always, thank you so much for checking out Affordable Mobility Solutions, where mobility is affordable. Call us today.